Dude, what is this? Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I called Rapple. I called Rapple. I called Rapple. He's going Zeus. Gaia for Nolus? Did you expect that at all? What? Not in a million years. I mean, Gaia can be strong on Metis, but to take it in a show match series, I don't know, you know. We'll see. We'll have to wait and find out. Well, you'd think that you'd think that if if you're gonna play Atlantean on on Mediterranean, the go-to pick would be Kronos, right? You you would think it would the, it would be the go-to pick, but he goes for Gaia. Okay, so let's see. In the Metaplays tournament, we had two series where it was Isis against Gaia on Anatolia, and the Isis pick is a no-brainer on Anatolia. Isis is super strong, but Gaia on Anatolia, and now Gaia on Mediterranean? I don't know. It's what's up with Gaia these days, man. What's up with that? Gaia is super strong. One thing Gaia can do that people underestimate is advance really early at four minutes with two docks. Bam, Byream super early. And mm -hmm. also they get that free water myth unit, the servants, which isn't the strongest, but it's really good at harassing early. On top of that, going through Oceanus gives you the Caladri, the flying healer unit. And on top of that, you get the Carnivora god power to sniper fishing ship and i believe you get three of them yeah so guy overall here is super strong and uh, another one finally on top of that super cheap eco upgrades so it can be really hard to compete with guy competitively in the early stages if zeus can hang on and survive like this super early pressure if nullus decides to advance super early zeus should eventually win but we'll have to wait and find out what do you think well, I think I think I completely agree with you. Um, there is, there is, bolt, which in a pickle you can use it, you know, against uh, um, the servant, you know, the free servant, for example, something like that. I think I I generally agree with you. Carnivora can be good depending on how you use it, but I think that on Mediterranean there's enough space that Rapple can micro around Carnivora. But, but it all depends on how Nullis uses it. It all depends on how Nullis uses it. Kind of like Sea Serpents for um, Anubis. It could either be a complete waste and it does nothing, or it could be super sick and it completely changes a fight. So I think he needs to be really careful how he uses it, but it could be sick, especially since he gets multiple usage, use uses, usages, like you mentioned. So I think the big, the big crux is here. How is Nullis going to use his Carnivora? And if, if Rapple is going to send his heroes over to Nullis' side to harass, because that's something that could be very difficult for Atlantean to deal with, is Jason and Odysseus and a Minotaur in their base messing around with the economy. Oh. Yeah, it can be very problematic for Atlantean to deal with. However, if you look at Nullus, look at his tree placements, very nice. The only thing that I would like him to do at the very mm -hmm. right of his base, right next to his town center, just throw up a little wall. It's only going to cost you a little bit of gold. Yeah. And that will just mitigate any or nullify any super early Greek hero pressure. I think not having that walled up could be detrimental. I don't know if it's going to be deciding, but Rapple has it scouted out, and he knows mm -hmm. Nullis hasn't got a wall yet, so if I was Rapple, I personally would send Odysseus over there. Mm -hmm. That's a good point, dude. That's like one teensy little wall. It's just a little bit of gold, but it has such, potentially such a huge benefit. One thing wow. as well, Null hasn't opted for the super early advance. He's just going for a standard advance here, but he does have three docks. Mm -hmm. And he's got a lot of um, resources in the bag, a lot of gold as well. And he's going to be able to spend that on servants. He's really going to be able to pump out ship super early in this game. Mm -hmm. Two docks for Rappo compared to the three for Nullus. Byreams are strong. Byreams, or er, sorry, trireams are strong. Wow, that car. What? 
A bolt on the carnivora like that? Okay. Sam, I'm gonna go down. Dude, look at- <gasps> Rappel is housed. Dude, Rappel is housed. He has two triremes just sitting there waiting to be finished. Why is oh. he housed? Oh, that's catastrophic on Mediterranean, dude. Now look at this. Seven by reams, eight. There's more coming across compared to two, three triremes for a Rappel. Dude, getting housed is catastrophic in situations like this. Gonna have to auto queue ships inside of his docks and then push out for a big fight. One thing he is doing well though, he is starting to um, send his heroes over. Oh, he's got a Looks second like Minotaur. Yeah, dude, that's two Minotaurs, and he stops the trees from completely cutting off that little space right there. First of all, that's brilliant to use the guy at trees like that, but somehow he doesn't completely cut it off. Wow, oh my god, these two Minotaurs are gonna massacre. I know there are some hero oracles here, but the hero oracles won't cut it. This is the double Minotaur and Jason, and Nullus has to throw down a military barracks, and now Rappel pops out with all of his ships, and now Rappel's back in the game. Rappel's back in the game just like that. I'm telling you, dude, that, that hero pressure. The double Minnow is super sick. Super sick. Instead of, let's see, instead of Odysseus, he didn't get Odysseus out, right? I don't see Odysseus anywhere. Dude, he is toast. Gotta lose a citizen, also gotta lose a citizen! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So much eco damage here. Jason is dead, but still, those two Minotaurs are, real out, are still out. He does have gold over on the left-hand side, so he's not 100% dead. But still, he's in a bad position for sure. Raffle's looking sick. Oh my god, Super 200 IQ restoration, getting the ships and the Minotaurs. He got the Minotaurs as well with Resto? Yep. Oh my god. Dude, dude. Second citizen kill! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The range on restoration on Pestilence is insane, man. It's so strong. <laughs> Holy crap. Where's the flying, he flying healer? Right there. Right there, Soup. Right there. Hero Merlo's getting sniped as well no. by the Triremes. And that oh game around so fast. Nolus is still producing by Reams. He's still producing, but Rappel is in a... Com would you say he's in a commanding position here? I think you would. <laughs> Absolutely. He's got to win Walter, even if Nolus decides to pop out all the Triremes now. At this Up stage, enough. transition to land and go for the gold star if you really wanted to. Mm. Maybe. Dude, I All think. Who would, would be to sit Odysseus on that gold mine? What a play from Rapple, dude. What a play from Rapple. The double minnow. I thought it was Odysseus that was going to be, you know, the big bully, but it's actually the double minnow play. Super sick. Okay, Carnivora comes down, does get a snipe off on a Trireme. Nullus pops out a lot of his ships. The Doc is firing down as well, getting in a little bit of damage, and it looks like Nullus is still in this game, scraping by. He's now got an opportunity to try and get some damage against the Minotaurs. Dude, this is unbelievable that Nullus is still alive. There's Odysseus. The Minnows are in back in the base on the Eco. Is that one Minotaur going down? Ah, Nolas calls it, dude. What just happened? It looked like he was just starting to come back into this game and then he calls it, man. What is that all about? Wow. It's just too much pressure to do. I guess. Yeah. That was probably the biggest value restoration you can get early in the game. Yes, in your ships, and not just one, but two Minotaurs fully yeah. healed. Oh my god. Very well played by Rappel. Two very quick games. Rappel is on fire. He's on fire, oh, man. He's Rappel is surfing today, man. He's riding that high. Dude, 
Can I, exactly what you said about getting that tiny little wall up, Nullis delayed that wall on the right hand side and look at what, you know, what happened afterwards. <laughs> look at what happened afterwards. <laughs> All he now, needed shoot. was a tiny little wall. At the very least, like if he if he at least has that little wall, or if he did the Gaia trees earlier, I think he could have plugged it up. And at the very least, he could have, you know, planned to prevent all of that bullshit from happening. I think he didn't expect it. Then suddenly, oh shit, there's two minnows. Now what do I do? And it just, you know, snowballed into a giant disaster. <laughs> wow. Well played. Very well played. I do rate the try from Nullus though, trying to go with Gaia and take Raffle off guard, but Raffle just too sure. Dude, I actually like the production from um the production from Nullus, it was really good, dude. Even though the servant got picked off really quickly, the carnivora was bolted, so that early pressure was, you know, and he was housed, blah blah blah. I I'm actually pretty impressed with the amount of spam he was able to, um, Nullis was able to, I guess, produce. So maybe Gaia isn't, you know, the craziest. They're both in the room, by the way. Maybe the Gaia pick isn't the craziest thing in the world, honestly.